I feel like for a lot of you, it might be family members or just somebody you've known for quite some time. And family members are usually the ones that know how to push our buttons. So I feel like you want to detach yourself a little bit. Um, if it's like a text message or an email, yeah, I feel some communication here. If it's a text message or an email and it gets you riled up, step away from it for a few days and um, don't don't bite the bait because I feel like someone is very jealous. I feel like someone is jealous and someone is like um, attention seeking. Yeah, attention seeking. They're, they're trying to get your attention and they're doing it in from a jealous perspective, okay? So I'm going to also pull out three advice cards. I'm going to have them face down for now and then we'll flip them over when it is time to talk about the advice. So these are divided into clusters depending on the suit. It will, I'll talk about different aspects of your life and then we have three advice cards here and this is the direction that you should be headed towards, okay? Advice cards for Aries. Okay. So first of all, let's talk about the first cluster. What I'm getting here is a lot of you are encountering a situation where you have new work opportunities, new opportunities for career advancement, opportunities for work partnerships as well. Okay, this is a massive proposal. This is coming through potentially from an earth sign, um, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And I do feel on a practical mundane level, this is a situation where you are waiting for something to come through, possibly a loan uh, from a financial institution, from, from a financier, and it is actually coming through for you. So you're getting something solid, some type of solid offer, either a commitment or either some financial things coming through, financial news coming through for you, okay? If you've been waiting for that, applying for loans and, you know, waiting for jobs, to come through something very very good that is going to be stable is coming through for you so both are very very good cards in terms of um, let me just see here I also want to uh, wish you all a very happy birthday as well um, Aries for those born in the later part of March okay um, there is another piece of information that is trying to come through here I feel like for a lot of you, for a lot of you, um, you have a, 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 a partnership with somebody and um, I feel like they're doing a lot of the work and I feel that you might be turning your back on them. Okay, so both of these cards, just be careful about that and just be careful to devote the time to your partnerships and make sure the other person doesn't feel neglected. I feel though... I feel that a lot of you might be on the verge of walking away from a partnership, love or business because the other party, you felt like the other party wasn't really doing their share, but they're stepping forward and they're giving you something more concrete. And I feel that at this point, you are going to stay for a lot of you. Okay, so that's what's coming through with the first cluster here. The second situation deals with expansion. It deals with opportunities. It also deals with travels. Um, the world card is greatly about expanding all aspects of our lives, okay? I feel, though, both of these things, it's kind of like um, this is going to be the month in which it tests your ability to love another person. And that means, you know, um, I, I felt like communication coming through from a jealous person from somebody who is quite um, difficult to deal with because they're pessimistic and they're negative and they're all, you know, me, me, me. I feel that for this month, you're going to approach this situation. In the past, they might have ruffled your feathers, but for this month, you're looking at this perspective from a very enlightened point of view and you're finding humor in the way that they're behaving. And I feel like this is um, a, a, the month in which you're getting some breakthroughs when it comes to people and their motives and especially people who are very dear and, and close to you. And you're figuring out why they behave the way that they do. And you're feeling as if um, they only do this to you mainly because they know you love them and they know you care about them. And so you're starting to understand that and you're starting to find humor in it.
I also feel this is the month in which some type of philosophical, um, some type of expansion is, is coming through for you guys. And when it comes to the world card, it deals with like getting recognition in a larger way. So, you know, the six of wands is about recognition. It's about fame and fortune, the fortune that will follow as a result of fame. The world card is about publishing. It's about uh, getting your voice out there, putting yourself out there so that your people are making the associations between the face and the name. I feel like you are expanding your circle. I feel as well you're expanding your social base and you're coming to a place where you feel very hopeful about your future. You feel as if you have support from somebody because maybe the, the business partner or potential um, love partner is stepping up and now you have a better sense of direction and you know that you have the support you need. So as a result of it, you feel like energetically, I feel, you feel so much lighter you feel like you can fly. And I feel like for a lot of you, there might have been situations that weighed you down, especially with dealing with toxic people. And this is the month in which you're not going to let that get you down. So you're approaching life with a new lease on life, okay? And things are really, really good, especially with loved ones and especially with friends and work situations, okay? Now let's look at this cluster. This is a little bit problematic. I feel... First of all, I feel like you are going to encounter something uh, unexpectedly, something that hits you out of the blue, and it reveals somebody's character. And I feel like it's not a favorable way. And I feel like this is something that randomly happened. It's supposed to cross your paths so that you can understand this person's true character. And this can play out in any type of an interpersonal relationship, okay? I also feel as well, let me see here, the chariot card usually indicates a lot of success, but it also, in this deck, it is um, about some type of inner struggle, okay? So a lot of you, if you're around co-workers who are like, you know, uh, cutting corners, who are not doing things the way, to the best of their capabilities, and I feel that you're comparing your progress to them. Maybe they're getting some type of career advancement and they're not doing their, 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 they're not pulling their weight. You're going to start to understand that, you know, I don't care what they're doing. I'm going to stick to my own way because you know that you have lasting power. For a lot of you, for others of you, I feel like you might encounter some coworkers or, or some injustice happening in your environment. And I feel like it can't just be walking down the road and, you know, seeing somebody doing something they're not supposed to. And I feel, I feel like it can be even as mundane as that. But for some reason, this has a huge impact on you because you're just like, what is this world coming to? You know, why are people behaving like this? So I feel like it affects you on a moral level where you, you might be a little bit conflicted, like, you know, what's going on with people? Why are people so strange? So I feel like that's on a mundane sense. That can be how this plays out. But I do feel that, I do feel some sneaky behavior is um, happening around you. And I feel that you're running into it and you're coming across it um, purely on, on a purely coincidental basis. Let me see here. Yeah, it's purely on a coincidental basis. But I do feel that it's best for you, um, Aries, to try to do things right and not cut corners for this month, okay? Don't cut corners. What I'm also feeling is, um, oh, going back to this, one last message. If there's communication from, from somebody and the way they communicate is just, um, it's not the way that you want to interact with other human beings. So you're feeling like you're going to leave them behind. And I feel like they are they know you're going to leave them behind. But like I said, they really care about you. And they know that you care about them too. So they want to provoke you. Okay, there's provocation. And be very careful not to get yourself stuck in that situation. If it's somebody and a lot of you, um, you know who it is. So you, you want to just keep that in mind. And to temper yourself, walk away, go back to it when you... you are in a better, less upset, less riled up frame of mind, okay? And I feel like you have a lot of friends, you have a lot of things on your plate, you have a lot of social events, 
outings, a lot of support in your own world. And the other person might not have the support that they need. So they're lashing out in anger, resentment, and just spewing venom. And there's no need for you to engage with that type of energy, especially if you're like on cloud nine right now with the rest of other aspects of your life, okay? Don't let them drag you down, Aries. Um, the last cluster that I'm seeing here, we have two major arcana, and they're both about success, okay? This is about your public image. This is the aura that you project out into the world. This is the way people perceive you. So the sun indicates um, major success, being in the spotlight, getting the recognition, and also opportunities that is going to bring you a lot of uh, abundance, a lot of just uh, overall worldly desires, okay? The... Um, the Wheel of Fortune is basically your time has come. Now, once again, in March is when the, we have that um, the spring equinox on the 20th, and depending on where you are, 20th, 21st. But I also feel like it's, all, it's ushering in your solar return. So this is a very, very important time for you, Aries, to solidify some plans. Think about what you want to achieve for the next year for the next two years, three years, think further long term, like think further down the line and try to solidify some things for you, okay? Because your solar return is a very powerful time. It's a good time for manifest or setting intentions so that throughout the rest of the year, you can gradually see these things start to manifest themselves. Or you can see the universe trying to create opportunities for you, for you to move in the direction that you want. So you are hitting a very, very important month right now and it is going to be very vital for you to not get distracted with too many things that are frivolous such as going out partying having um you know uh having expanding your social circle but not seeking quantity rather than quality so you want to really devote your time to things that have the possibility of growth and to people that are dependable and that have been around for you so for those of you who are dealing with this you know energy. I feel like there's one person specifically where they, they're very pessimistic and um, they're, they're like ch very childish. If you're dealing with that energy, um, don't carry it into this new solar year with you because there are other options on the table as well. And there are good people that ha are have proven themselves to be very supportive and very stable in your life. So you want to, you know, keep that in mind. Okay. Um, I also feel that this is kind of like things coming full circle. And um, once again, I mentioned, you know, um, you're, you're going to be thrust into the public eye and in the spotlight. So do not cut corners. If you're giving presentations, make sure you do the research, uh, Aries. If you are in a position where you are, you know, publishing something as well, make sure all your citations are in line. Make sure you do the fact checking because I feel like otherwise uh, things will slip up okay so be very careful when it comes to not cutting corners overall so I'm not going to dwell on that and um, Aries you can be a little bit careless when it comes to minor de like doing tedious detail things so if you're not if you can't bring yourself to physically do it ask somebody to do it for you pay them if you need to just make sure it's done right okay so don't cut corners um, in terms of the advice, let's look at the advice cards here. So this is the direction in which you are supposed to be headed, okay? Um, first of all, we have the Ten of Wands, Prince of Pentacles, which is like the Knight of Pentacles, and the Eight of Swords. So I'm going to say this first. There is somebody around you, Aries, Earth sign, okay? And um, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. This could potentially be somebody with uh, who is self-employed, somebody with a job, um, like a, a very strong, stable financial career. It's also somebody, and this can be their sun, moon, or rising. It can also be somebody that you've known for quite some time, or they have children, okay? Um, they're making you a very solid offer. It feels like this person has been in your life for quite some time. You uh, you both have been through a lot together with the Ten of uh, Rods. It deals with burdens. It deals with a long-standing relationship. It deals with, like, history with another person. I feel like for the past three months, a lot of you have tried to handle situations on your own. 
And um, a lot of you have tried to do things on your own and you're not asking for help and you force yourself. So be very careful about injuries as well, okay? If you're if you feel like something is a little bit too heavy for you, take multiple trips because you know, he, he looks he doesn't look very comfortable. Be careful about straining yourself when doing physical activity as well like lifting weights and things like that. This is usually exercising, lifting weights. Um be careful about that. I also feel like you have tried to do it yourself. Someone is offering you help, but you don't see it. Okay, so I feel like this, I know the, the cards are really difficult to see, and that's why I usually um, prefer the Rider weight deck because the, the imagery or is clearer, but I really enjoy working with this deck. So someone is offering you something and you're choosing to not accept it, or at least you're choosing to look the other way and pretend it didn't happen. Or you are in this state of mind where you're feeling very, very bound by your your emotions, by, bound by your circumstances, and you might not take up this offer. So for example, you could be in a relationship and somebody, you know, um, can make an offer for you to step out of the relationship. And I feel like there's temptation, but you're hesitating. And that's what I meant by, you know, try to do the right thing. I definitely feel there is temptation around you. I feel that you are attracting a lot of people. And I feel like a very solid earth sign around you is making a an offer to you. But you're, you're stuck in your current predicament and you're not taking up this offer or you are refusing to accept it or you're refusing not to see it. The point here is you're not alone and you're not stuck and if you need help, ask for help. There are plenty of people around you who are willing to help you. So there's some news coming through, possibly financial news, possibly regarding some type of renovation, even regarding some type of travel. I, I don't feel it's so much travel. I feel like it's communication overseas as well coming in for you. And someone is is trying their best to to help you in this situation okay so let them in and let them let them help you with the burden because i feel that um you're you're trying to push yourself just to know that you can do it and you're being stubborn so you know let them help you so a lot of you might be deepening a major commitment so this is usually like a marriage proposal type of situation and we also have the king of pentacles and marriage proposal we also have the three of wands which is something long standing that you've been waiting on you know you might have been with a relationship partner for three years and they finally popped the question so first of all um, let's do the love reading now and I feel some escalation moving a relationship to the next level some type of proposal is coming in quite strongly for you guys Aries so let's see and I feel like if it happens it is going to be like completely completely unexpected you're not going to know uh, what hit you or what overcame that person like you're, you're not going to be able to anticipate it it is going to be a total bolt out of the blue okay let me get the deck shuffled out first before I do the love reading for you. Well, okay, so let's get the cards gathered up. Sorry about that, guys. Um, this is a new deck, and it is very, very, uh, the cards are very thick and stiff, so it's really hard to shuffle. So going back once again. Okay. So what is in store for Aries for April 2016 in love relationship? So this is um, going to encompass more romantic love. Okay, I hope you that that was clear. So love relationship for Aries March Okay, once again, every time I do a reading for Aries, there is an air sign that shows up. So a lot of you are dealing with um, some, some air sign. 
Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. There's a very strong air sign in your mist. And this is, um, we're talking specifically about love and relationships, okay? So let's go over the spread. Um, at the center of the spread, we have the Ten of Swords. And the Ten of Swords indicates the end of a cycle of conflict and um, battle. So it's basically... This is pretty much the last straw. This is like overkill. This is somebody who is doing a lot of attention seeking potentially. And um, whatever the conflict was, it's, it's, not even, it's, it's not even about the conflict anymore. This is just about, you know, getting very angry and wanting to get at your, your partner or to, you're, you're feeling very, very angry about something happening. And um, for a lot of you, there might be communications coming through regarding that, okay? But it is it is a 10, so it is pretty much the end of it. Whatever conflictual situation, for those of you who are in committed relationships, whatever conflicts that you've had to deal with, especially if you are in a some type of a committed relationship with either a an air sign, so Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, because we do have the Page of uh, Cups here, that situation is being brought to an end so that something new can emerge for you. So if you are in a committed relationship, I feel like taking the relationship to the next level. If you've been going through, you know, a lot of hardships together, I feel that it is strengthening your relationship. I do feel that here because we have what's crowning you is the two of wands, which is a very significant, stable relationship card. Um, for others of you, though, I feel like if it's, it has been conflictual and you can't go back to it. You are going to have to separate because you know in your hearts of hearts that it is toxic, that the energy, the jealousy, the um, the attraction you have to one another is not completely healthy, okay? We have the devil here and the devil indicates some type of binds that we keep ourselves in because we are afraid it's operating from a place of insecurity it's being together out of sec for security reasons you know for love money sex whatever it is it's uh, operating from a very poor vibra vibrational state where we keep ourselves stuck in the same situations mainly because we are afraid so i feel like especially for coupled um, aries this is the month in which you're going to know which path to, to take Either you take the relationship to the next level or you disband the relationship, okay? I also feel that for, it's like one or the other. I, I don't feel like a, a, a good middle ground here because first of all, in the previous spread, we have the six of swords, which indicate, uh, seven of swords, which indicates um, some type of deception, some type of sneaky behavior. And then we have the ten of swords, which indicates, you know, some very traumatic experiences that is coming through or has already happened within the past two weeks. So I definitely feel this is, you know, make it or break it. And if you make it, you're going to be okay. You're going to be a lot stronger. If you break it, there's something new coming through for you. Okay. So I definitely feel that coming through for you. Um, we do have a very strong air sign. So a lot of you are transitioning from an air sign, somebody who is very intelligent. And um, I feel like there is a very, you're, you're thinking about this person. You're thinking about them a lot. You're, um, this is what I'm feeling, even though they're both females. So it can be, you know, same sex relationships or even just female energies. Um, it's like thinking about another person from the past. Every time I see the two of one, I think about missing somebody, thinking about somebody yearning for somebody and they're not in your physical proximity so i feel like distance you know emotional distance geographical distance and things like that and i feel as well for a lot of you if there has been some type of separation if you're dating somebody and there's geographical distance for example i feel like they're coming to see you okay so it looks very very good um, overall, I do sense that it's it's more like the, the impact is going to be felt very strongly for those who are in committed relationships and you're going to have to decide once and for all which direction you want to go with this relationship. For those who are single, I do sense that um, you're still not over an ex. I feel like for a lot of you, you're not over it and you're finding ways to either reintroduce 
your them back into your life because they're coming forward with some type of offer or like you know a round two and for those of you who are um, not over an ex and you're trying to date other people the people seem to pale in comparison to the person that you were dealing with so I feel like a very stable person in a very young energy the young energy has potential so you really have to go with it and you have to either way break yourself out of your rut and start dating but I do feel that in in terms of um, either one the damage that the ex did to you was so overwhelming that you you're not ready which is fine take your time or the other person was like um, was very very vivacious was very intelligent and they were just um, they were just a really good person and they were they had like this really dynamic personality and everybody that you're meeting since they don't really spark the same type of interest, the same type of passion within you. So I feel like a lot of you might just be, you know, jaded from dating and you're yearning for the past or you're jaded from dating mainly because the new people, it seems like their their energy, their vibrational level is very young and they don't really have a lot of life experiences to offer you. Well, I feel that it would be best for you to go with the new energies mainly because not all relationships have to be this heavy, emotional, explosive um, experience. It can be light and fun as well. So, you know, tap into more of the childlike energy within you, Aries. You love that. And, you know, um, it actually will be, maybe this isn't the, the, the be all that end all. Maybe this isn't the long term relationship, but it is kind of like the stepping stone relationship for you to branch out and for you to get over the person from your past because a lot of you are dealing with that. Um, I feel jealousy. I feel jealousy. So you want to be careful when you communicate uh, with other people. I feel that the jealousy is coming in from your environment. Well, let's see. I feel, yeah, I, I feel it coming through. I feel it coming through. So no matter which direction it's coming through, I know that you Aries, you're going to feel it and minimize contact with people who are negative. Okay, try to do that for this year. Try to keep yourself in a very good headspace because your solar cycle is coming in. And that's when you want to stay positive and manifest positive things for the next few years, for at least 2016, but also for the rest of your future. So positive relationships can be had this year, but you have to do some breaking away from the past, letting go of old ways of relating. If you have been in a situation where you're kind of like holding back love and affection, waiting for the other person to reciprocate, and you know, if there is that energy of keeping scores in love relationship, I hurt you, and so you hurt me, so then I hurt you, and retaliation, if you're dealing with that type of energy from other people, or if it's coming from you, you are going to have to actively let it go, okay? And because of both of these energies are fire, they're very red to me, I feel like it's coming in from a fire sign, um, which can be you or somebody in your external environment. But I do feel you are going to have to find healthier ways to make things work, okay?